happy vlog -aversary. Um I miss this. I've been ridiculously busy uh, since getting back from being on tour back in June, I wanna say. No, April, I was on tour in April. April and May. Then June hit and I went to Des Moines. Obviously this is also coming out late, but this is being shot on, the, on exactly one year ago today is when I started this vlog. Um, so I wanted to make a quick vlog. One, I wanted to open all of my happy birthday cards because I got a whole bunch of them and some packages and also talk about kind of where this vlog is going. Right now, I think I'm gonna start with mail time, but it's happy birthday mail time. I have to be honest, some of these packages, well, envelopes got a little messed up. So somebody got me shoelaces with little paw prints on them. That was awesome, thank you very much. I have a card, I'm pretty sure this is the person who got me those. I have a card from Wendy. Wendy, thank you for your amazing birthday card. It's very nice of you. Also, thank you if Wendy, if this wasn't Wendy, thank you to whoever got me the shoelaces. Next is a, a package from someone in Georgia. This is another one from Wendy. Also, Wendy, another awesome card, thank you. Ooh, and a letter. Wendy, you congratulating me on Billy Bud, the opera that I did in Des Moines, thank you very much. It was a lot of fun, it really was. Oh, and I'm gonna do a vlog talking about Des Moines because it was an incredible experience. It was a really, it's a fantastic company. Wendy sent me uh, these adorable coasters. I especially like this one. Actually, I especially like this one too, because there's a cat in there. Wendy, as always, thank you very much. Thank you for your letter, thank you for your card, and thank you for the coasters. Okay, a letter from Michelle, Michelle Eisenberg. Hello, Michelle. Wish you all the best and happy birthday. Michelle, thank you for the card, and thank you for the Starbucks cards. As I always do, I will be writing your name on it so I know who to thank for these amazing gifts. There you are, Michelle. Thank you. Now a letter from Virginia. Happy birthday, best friend. Virginia, thank you very much for the card. Sailboat. I actually grew up sailing. I don't know if you guys know that. I should talk about that in one of these vlogs. It was a huge part of my life, because like I was like kind of raised in the water. It was all swim team and sailing and surfing, all that stuff. Uh, next is a card from John in Illinois. Happy birthday, your friend, John and Julie. John and Julie. John and Julie, thank you very much. That is an adorable card, if you can see it. That looks kind of like my cats. Next card is from Rachel, also in Illinois. Rachel, thank you very much for the letter and for the pictures and for the Starbucks card. Rachel, I'm gonna, oh look, it's like a little birthday one. I'm going to write your name on this. So once again, I know to thank you when I get some coffee with that card. I have a card here from Katie, Pennsylvania. Katie, a nice handwritten letter. Katie, you have very good handwriting. You have a lot better than mine. All right. Katie, thank you for your letter. It's very, very nice of you. This next letter is from somebody. Uh, Kalina, I think. Sorry, I can't read it. Kalina, I think. Kalina. Thank you so much for your birthday wishes. Tell Zeke I say hi, and uh, thank you for the very nice letter that you wrote me. A lot of these packages and envelopes have been kind of stacking up, especially because of my birthday, so I'm not sure if they're all for my birthday or most of them. I feel like most of them are. Wendy, you know the way to my heart. Some fruit roll-ups. Also, adorable puppy. Wendy is saying congratulations for getting to the finals of the Operalia competition. Thank you very much. It was unreal. It was an incredible experience. And actually, if you're watching this, you have seen the vlog that I shot there. Maybe. If it was good enough and I edited it together well enough. Wendy, thank you again. Now, for the first of two boxes. I really do love getting letters um, and envelopes and stuff like that, and obviously Starbucks cards and all that kind of stuff and gift cards, but uh, something about boxes. It's like the kid inside me. It feels like a present, you know? Okay, so there's that. Okay, this is from Lois Parker. Lewis Parker? Lois Parker. Lois. Yes, I will be doing another show at Three Oaks before I leave for New York in April. By the way, I'm leaving for New York in April and moving back because my contract here at The Lyric will be finished. Um, but we'll talk about that later. Also, flying kitten. Lois, thank you for the Starbucks card. Uh, as I've done in the past and I will continue to do, I'm going to put your name on it so I know to thank you in the vlog when I get some coffee or on social media if I'm not vlogging that day. See, it's a little hard because I have all these vlogs that if you're watching this, you've seen, but I've been editing like crazy to catch up and I've, I've been 
planning and as you've seen, I wanted to kind of release a few of them at a time, you know, like a big chunk at a time. Because because I'm so far, I was so far behind, releasing one at a time made no sense. Because it was, again, so far behind. Now, Lois. What? I could not agree more. Lois, that's a seriously cool gift. Thank you so much. Real men love cats. That's all I'm saying. And now, last but not least, we have another box from Bethany. Bethany in, in Michigan. Ooh, this box is packed, Bethany. Okay, so first we have treats for Presley and Fitz. Thank you, I appreciate the healthy choice for the cats. Letter, you know the way to my heart. Starbucks thing. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this in pieces. Start with the letter. Uh, no need to apologize for the for the lateness in this gift, because clearly. I'm very late to opening it. Bethany, thank you for pointing out your favorite vlog. That means you're a true vlog watcher. You're part of the vlog family, the Blamley. Look at these little gifts here. Also, uh, Bethany got me a Starbucks card. Thank you. And I will, of course, be putting your name on this. So, as I've stated, I know who to thank. Bethany got me an awesome Starbucks mug. You can write on this thing with this pen. Is it erasable afterwards? Because I'm definitely gonna mess it up. Oh, this, this is like a whole thing. Okay, I'm not gonna do this right now because it's permanent and I don't wanna mess it up. But whatever I think of, I'll show you guys. This is a great mug though. Look at this. This is a solid mug. Thank you very much. This is a great gift. Also, if that wasn't enough, Bethany got me or made me a Starbucks pillow. There were more things in the box. Hang on. Tell your sister Sarah that uh, I said thank you for the Starbucks card. There it is. Thank you very much, Sarah. Guys, thank you so much for these gifts. They are unbelievable. Honestly, I really wasn't expecting gifts, uh, to be honest. I mean, you guys have always been incredibly giving and very generous to me, even for like normal, uh, just your standard mail time vlog. But, you know, I haven't been vlogging, or at least I have, I have been vlogging, I just haven't been releasing anything. So I didn't I really didn't expect anything. So thank you very much guys. This really it you've brightened my week and month and year. So I do want to say I've been very busy obviously uh, with the opera stuff. Lots of things have been changing and developing and you'll find out about a lot of that stuff because it'll be announced very very soon. Up until really last year before I came here, I was just a young opera singer. I had gone to school, I had graduated from CCM with my undergrad and Juilliard with my master's degree. But then I went straight into uh, uh, Celtic Thunder, and I never really had to do any of this, the smaller auditions that you do right out of school. And then uh, kind of a whirlwind of stuff ha happened. I, I got the offer for here, for Chicago, and, and just things, you know, offers for other jobs for next year and the year after and the year after. And my opera career has really started to, you know, show itself um, and uh, become much more, a much bigger part of my life. Obviously, that's something that I've wanted to involve you guys in and kind of bring you along with that. And I will, um, especially once I'm caught up editing all this. But for the future of this vlog, I am, I'm a little disappointed with how I've done this past year. I started out strong, I think. I was pretty good about every day. I had a lot more free time though back then. You know, I would miss a few days, but then I would try and do like a vlog a palooza or like a mega vlog or something. But I also had all these all these desires to do like bigger scope things. Like I really wanted to do short films and like and just like little scenes and stuff like that. And, you know, really make some like interesting work. And I still want to do that. I f I think that'll be the plan. If not while I'm in Chicago, as soon as I move back to New York. Because the good thing about being an opera singer is, you know, you work really hard for like two months and then you have some time off maybe, and you work really hard for a few, because you know, you go between jobs. So I think with the time between those jobs, it would be really interesting to dive into some other work, dive into stuff like this. Uh, I have a lot of friends in New York that are film related people, like filmmakers and stuff like that. One in particular who I've actually done some work with before. And I definitely have a desire to explore that part of my life anyway. It's been no secret that acting has been kind of a, a not so secret passion of mine. I'm very happy, I'm very glad, I'm very lucky that you guys have hung in there with me through like the big chunks of time where I haven't vlogged. I do intend to get back to every day or at least like four-ish times a week. I feel once I get back on time with this, like once I get back up to date, I feel like I'll be able to better gauge how often I can do this. I definitely want to shoot for every day. That probably won't happen, I just have to be honest. But I'm gonna try and do as many days as possible. And, and that's mainly because some days 
I'm literally in rehearsals for like 12 hours. So it's like, what am I gonna vlog, <laughs> you know? Going to work and then coming home. And you know, I know I've made vlogs like that kind of in the past. Just with all the things that are developing in the singing stuff and the singing career of mine, both opera and otherwise. Um, and the otherwise is also fairly large, so you'll find out about that soon. With that stuff kind of budding, it's been fairly hard for me to really be able to dive into this again. It is the vlog -a vlog anniversary vlog anniversary vlog anniversary vlog anniversary vlog anniversary, whatever. Uh, happy anniversary, guys. This is actually a very big part of my life. I kind of yearn for it when I'm not doing it. It's it's a it's a really incredible outlet for me artistically and it's a great way for me to stay in contact with you guys. I love when you guys interact with these videos, when you comment down below, you like or dislike, don't dislike, uh, when you subscribe, when you comment, when I post it on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or you share, all that stuff, it means a lot to me. Uh, I know it's, it might be like superficial sounding that it's just likes and numbers and everything. But like I've now, I've been on tour after starting this vlog. I've been to other, you know, Emmett Cahill shows. I've been to the other guy's shows here in Chicago after starting this vlog. And I've met some of you guys post vlog, which was incredible to me. And I know I've talked about this in other vlogs, but you know, it's, it's great to see the faces that are behind those, that view count and hear the stories about what this vlog meant to them. And, uh, kind of what it's done for them. Yeah, I definitely want to keep up with this. I really miss it, but I wanted to do this one because it's our year anniversary. Thank you for the amazing year. I'm looking forward to the next year and many more years of whatever this is. Thank you very much. I will be letting you know about some of the stuff that I can actually talk about very soon. Uh, so hang in there. I know it's such a tease. And whatever vlog comes out after this is certainly not gonna be tomorrow's vlog because I'm not gonna vlog until I'm done editing all of this because I just have so much content to kind of swim through. But if you enjoyed the vlog, share it, like it, comment, all that stuff. And uh, subscribe if you're watching and you're not subscribed. And thank you for the, uh, an amazing first year. An interesting first year. An amazing, oh crazy first year. I didn't know what I was getting into when I started this and I'm very happy that I did. Regardless of the stress, regardless of you know some days where I just feel like crap that I couldn't get a, a video out, but this is amazing and you guys are amazing. Thank you for the birthday gifts and I'll see you next time.